know I'm in good company when I'm parked next to this. This is a pretty sweet ride right here. And also, They're gonna get mine right now. See my new tail lights. Yeah, man. Thank you very much for getting it in there. That's great. See what's lacking is the inner tail light is actually operable in the new set from Germany and. Even the stock ones never had the lights light up, so we have to run a wire up through the hatch. It comes with the wires and everything, but it was beyond my purview to do that. So they're going to take it in. Oh, there's the reverse lights. They work. See, they just plug in already. But... There it goes. You can see what the lights look like. Just half of them are working. They're Mark VI style in a Mark V body. LED, Euro type LED. You are not gonna just like my new tail lights. You are going to love my new tail lights. Um, it has been so rainy, I've really not washed my car like I should. So I give it a good wash job today. I went ahead and refreshed my LEDs on my side markers, which you'll see. But the newest addition is, they're called J-O-M Urban Style 2. On ECS tuning, they were called Dark, or Black Cherry. They were called Black Cherry Mark VI Style Euro LEDs. So these are what the Euro LEDs look like in uh, Germany or in, in the, the style of. Uh, what I like about it is they're dark, and since I've got the black and white theme now, this is much better matching to my car. Uh, they were already coated for Euro when I had the Hellas in there. Um, so when I removed them, it's basically plug and play. The thing though that was different about these are, this whole area lights up, see in the L shape, which you're gonna see in a few minutes. This has the rear fog, rear integrator fog, so it's red right here, and it also has the reverse light right here, which will be in white. But uh, this whole inner light and outer light light up. In the OEM spec, this is basically just a reverse light and a reverse light, and that's it. And they just plug in. These ones had to incorporate the amber turn signal all the way into here, and also the brake light and uh, tail light goes right into here as well. So uh, that required a wire to be run I'll show you I actually was proud of myself I installed the whole thing and then I couldn't do the wire so I had to get them done professionally so what we did is we ran a wire from the back it actually plugs in the back here there's a yellow wire a white wire and a black wire they plug into the side of the lights that it comes with the kit and then they would run up into here go up through here and then all the way up through here and around through here to where they can go right to here and then they plug in right under here, this pops out. And that's what has been done here. You can see that extra wire that's been put in there. And I had to put some electrical tape there because there was a split on it. I think it's gonna be fine. But you will see the result of it pretty soon. Let's see, put this like that. Hold on.
because of the way I can put my camera over here. Kind of the ground view, sorry about that. I'm gonna turn it on, then I'll do the brake lights, the left turn signal, right turn signal, the four ways, and then the reverse fog and the reverse light. that came out good. Let me just do this. You try it one more time. I think the camera might have slipped. Don't you love them? And now they have a Volkswagen look. Uh, that was one thing I really didn't, I was disappointed in with the Hellas. They were LED, which was great. 
but they had no flair. They had no style. They were just dots on a grid, you know? This actually is a Volkswagen style and reminds you of the Euro LEDs for the Golf R. And what's actually cool is my, when my car was coded for the European code taillights, they had to code my car to an R32 in, in Europe. So my car thinks it's an R32 in the computer. That's how I got the taillights to work. <laughs> we, got a, we got the code from a guy in Canada. They ran a tuner shop up there. But don't, don't they look sweet? These are awesome. They were called Black Cherry, but they're actually black. If you go on the JOM.DE website, it's called Urban Style 2, and that's what the box says too. But I couldn't be happier. These are really sweet. Uh, it matches more in my, my theme, the black and white theme. Banded on top, right? So they look like from the side. Kind of wrap around a little bit. I just love the way the, let me put the four ways on. I don't want to make too long of a video. But see how they're lit up in here. And then even the amber turn signal also goes in here. That's what that extra wire's for. Without that extra wire, you wouldn't have that connected. And these are like the best tail lights I've ever had. Hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I got my eyes set on new headlights, but it's not going to be right now. But it's going to be, I'm going to get the ones that are black on the inside. And I, well, these are black too, really, but I'm going to get the European style. I think they look a little different. They're black all the way around. I'm going to look around. I'm trying to find, what's hard about these are, these are the Xenon by Xenon self-leveling. So you have to stick with those. You can't use any aftermarket ones or you, lo you lose the leveler. So you gotta get factory ones and uh, they are expensive. They're about 400 each, so. I'm gonna probably recondition them again and then uh, probably remove the eyelids because they're getting kind of beat, beat up looking. And uh, we're gonna do something new about the headlights soon. Yeah. I just love those taillights. Woohoo!